Hi, I'm Lauren, and welcome to Master Spas TV, your spot to learn how to practically everything having to do with your Master Spas hot tub or swim spa. In this episode, Shane and I are going to show you how to remove your hot tub's cabinet. Let's get to it. You'll need to remove the cabinet during the initial setup of your hot tub. This is also where you'll find your owner's manual, along with other important documents. You can also find a drain plug for eliminating water from the hot tub. The idea of removing your hot tub's cabinet might seem a little bit scary and like something that should be left to the professionals, and I would have assumed so too. But as it turns out, it's not too difficult. After following along with this video, you'll realize just how simple and safe it is to perform this task on your own. Before we get started, we should have the following handy. A screwdriver or power drill with a number two fit, and a small cup or container to make sure we don't lose our hardware. The concept is nearly the same, no matter which hot tub or cabinet style you've purchased. However, there are some minor variances based on your cabinet's finish and the size of your hot tub. All panels have between four and eight screws that need removed, located in these general areas. If you have a getaway hot tub, a nine foot Michael Phelps Legend Series hot tub, or your hot tub has a dreamstone skirting, then you must also remove some or all hardware in the corner pieces around the panel you're removing. For 9-foot Michael Phelps Legend Series hot tubs, carefully remove the hardware and the trim attached to the corner piece to be removed. If you've opted for dream lighting, be careful not to damage the light rods when removing the screws. You may leave the light rods attached to their wiring, but if they become detached, don't worry, they just push back on. Once the corner piece is free, you're ready to remove the screws holding the panel in place. Dreamstone has four screws holding the corner piece in place. Remove all four screws and the corner will come away easily. Now you're ready to remove the screws holding the panel in place. On the getaway hot tubs, you'll remove the screws overlapping the panel being removed. Then remove the panel screws. If all necessary screws and corner pieces have been removed, getaway, 9-foot Michael Phelps Legend Series, and Dreamstone panels should come away from their hot tubs easily without flexing or bending. Duramaster and Mastertech panels can be flexed with just enough tension in the middle to loosen and free the panel one end at a time without removing any hardware from the corners. If you opted for the dream lighting package, then you also need to be careful in removing the front panel so as not to damage the sensor and wire harness that triggers the lights. Once you have your panel removed, and before sliding it out of the way, you'll need to gently remove the small wire connected to the dream lighting sensor. Just give the connector a firm but gentle pull and be sure not to pull on the wire itself, as this could loosen the wiring, causing the dream lighting sensor to no longer function properly. And that's it. Now you know how to safely and easily remove one of your hot tub's panels. Thanks for showing us how, Shane. If you need more help, be sure to check your owner's manual for more information about your specific hot tub. You can also visit masterspas.com resources. If you still have more questions, then you're always welcome to email us at customercare at masterspas.com. And make sure that you check back in here for more Master Spas TV. If you have any ideas for future topics, please email us at howto at masterspas.com. Until next time, happy hot tubbing.